Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Jamaica News in Review Two people found dead in Kitsiton, St. Andrew, identified. The police have identified the two people whose bodies were discovered in Kitsiton, St. Catherine. Dead are Georgia Blunt and Ralph Fuller, both water vendors and farmers of Bendon District in Kitsiton. They were reported missing by relatives. Head of the St. Catherine North Police, Senior Superintendent Howard Chambers, told reporters that the bodies were found in the Naysboro Grove community at about 9.45 a.m. Noting that no motive has been established for the double murder, SSP Chambers is urging persons with information that can assist the police in their investigation to contact them. Uh, they were reported missing on Sunday by a family member that said that they have been trying to get in touch with them from Saturday evening and haven't getting haven't known the phone calls weren't answered. So they were reported missing Sunday morning. Uh, search uh, began from yesterday morning. Uh, didn't find them. Search suspended and continued into this morning. And so the bodies were discovered in the same in, uh, Kisitone community, but more specifically in the Nasbury Grove uh, area in Bushes. The investigation is, is ongoing. Present as we speak, the investigators are in the community and the, the scene also come in the area and try to, you know, get some information to, to, to better direct them. I'm asking the community, please, if they have any information, you know, you know the Spanish Town Station number, call the number 9842305. Also, you have the investigators that will be there on a daily basis. Please pass on the information to them because uh, I think this is something um, alarming for that particular community of Kisitona. They don't have those type of things happening there. And so we want to resolve this one as soon as possible. And we are depending on the citizens to you know, collaborate with the police personnel so that we can uh, bring a closure to this one and find the culprits. Two shot and killed off Maxfield Avenue. The St. Andrew South Police were processing the scene of a double murder on Burke Road off Maxfield Avenue. The incident reported it happened sometime after 10 o'clock. Reporters understand that the victims, two males, were shot while sitting in a black Nissan Silver motor car. Edith Dalton James students shot in neck while heading to school. A 16-year-old Edith Dalton James student was shot in his neck while on his way to school on Monday morning. According to College Mental, Zone commander for the Duhaney Park Police Station, the student is now recovering. Sometime at about 10.30 a.m., the student was on his way to school when an explosion was heard and he felt a burning sensation and subsequently recognized that he was hit in the back of his neck, meant to tell reporters outside the St. Andrew Bay School. He added, we are happy he is alive and that he is now in a state of recovery. It is a very unfortunate situation that our student who are on their way to or from school can be meted out with this form of incident. As such, he is employing residents who may have information on the incident to share it with the Duane Park Police Station. Our call 119 adding that the person responsible must be brought to justice. He was able to run to school where assistance was given and he was then later taken to seek medical attention. His condition is stable at this time and we continue to appeal to the residents. Those who may have seen or heard anything to report it to the Duane Park Police Station, 119 or the nearest police station, Minto stated. Man shot while picking up child from Meadowbrook Prep. A man was shot at the entrance of Meadowbrook Prep School in St. Andrew. Reports are that about 3 p.m., the man arrived at the entrance of the school on a motorcycle to pick up a student when he was attacked by a gunman traveling in a motor vehicle. He was shot multiple times and was rushed to hospital in critical condition. The gunman escaped. The incident has left student, parents, and staff of the institution traumatized. Man who allegedly stabbed his daughter to death in Kingston hospitalized under police guard. The man who allegedly stabbed his 17-year-old daughter, Sadiqui Calvert, to death on Barry Street in Kingston over the weekend has been hospitalized under police guard. Police report that about 1.30 a.m., the man was taken to hospital after he was found unconscious with his throat and both wrists slashed. The man was being sought by the police after a dispute developed between him and his daughter on Sunday, April 2nd, 
during which a knife was used to inflict a wound to the teen's chest. She was taken to hospital where she died while being treated. Farmers rob off over 20 goats cash in St. Anne. A farmer of Pickle Pole in Claremont, St. Anne, has been charged with robbery with aggravation and wounded with intent in connection with an incident in the community on Sunday, February 12. He is 28-year-old Floyd Johnson. Reports found that Johnson was among a group of men who first opened the door of another farmer's dwelling and attacked him with machetes and stones. The man attempted to flee from his attackers but was chased and chopped. He was then tied robbed of cash, farming appliances and 23 goats. The man managed to free himself and was assisted by residents to seek medical treatment. Johnson was subsequently arrested and charged. Man fatally stabbed in Christiana. Police are probing the fatal stabbing of a man in Christiana, Manchester on Monday night. He has been identified as Glenford Isaacs, 31, otherwise called Germain, a resident of Silent Hill District in the parish. A police report said about 7.15 p.m., residents stumbled upon Isaac sitting along the roadway in a pool of blood and alerted the police. Isaac was found suffering from stab wounds to his upper body. He was taken to hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. Statistics from the police show that up to March 31, Manchester recorded 12 murders since the start of the year, the same figure for the corresponding period last year. Two brothers die in St. Elizabeth crash. Two brothers died as a result of injuries they sustained in a two-vehicle crash on the Ridge Pen Main Road in St. Elizabeth on Monday. Police named the deceased men as the Mario 24 and Omaria Lewis, residents of Brooklyn District, Mountainside in St. Elizabeth. A police report said about 4.40 p.m., the brothers were traveling on a motorcycle from Mountainside to Hounslow when it collided with a Nissan caravan traveling in the opposite direction. The injured brothers were taken to hospital where they died while undergoing treatment. Corporal Albert Simpson, sub-officer in charge of St. Elizabeth Traffic Department, is urging road users to be cautious. We are appealing to motorists to abide by the rules of the road and be cautious. Two lives lost in this crash is too, too many, said Simpson. Man allegedly fatally stabbed by brother in Clarendon. A man is in custody following the fatal stabbing of his brother in Tollgate, Clarendon. The deceased has been identified as 37-year-old Anthony Michael, also known as Pops of Ebony Park in Tollgate. The police say about 9.15 a.m., Michael and his brother had an argument which subsequently led to a tussle. The brother then reportedly used a knife to inflict multiple stab wounds to Michael's upper body. He was rushed to hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. Two killed in Spanish Town shooting. Two people were shot and killed during a gun attack along Willow Lane in Spanish Town St. Catherine on Wednesday afternoon. The police say about 2 p.m., explosions were heard along the roadway and the driver of a motor vehicle and a female passenger were shot. The man reported the dead on the spot while the woman was rushed to hospital where she was pronounced dead. A third person was reportedly injured in the incident, but their condition is not known at this time. Police mourn death of woman corporal. The Jamaica Police Federation is mourning the death of another member. Detective Corporal Simone Nemard of the Sissoka Westmoreland Division died in hospital on Wednesday morning after a period of illness. In a message to its members, the Police Federation expressed sadness at Nemard's passing. It is a very sad time for us as we mourn and share condolences with the management and staff of the Westmoreland Division, the Federation said. Nemart's passing comes just four days after the death of Inspector Desmond Roach, a former General Secretary of the Police Federation, who was assigned to the Video Identification Unit. Reporters understand that Roach fell ill while at home in St. Catherine and was rushed to hospital where he later died. Update on alleged court thieves killed by police Police have identified the two men who were killed following an alleged confrontation during a high space drill and shootout in Kings and Meadows, close to Spurtree in Manchester on Tuesday afternoon. They are Dwayne Baker and Cameron Whittle. Whittle is said to be from Knockpatrick in the parish, while Baker is said to be from Kingsland. They are among four men accused of stealing six goats in Magatti St. Elizabeth on Tuesday. A senior police source told reporters, that the men are suspected to have been involved in multiple cases of predator larceny in Manchester and St. Elizabeth. The police were said the men were spotted about 3 p.m. on Tuesday in Lacova, St. Elizabeth, 
Manchester police were alerted and given a description of a black Toyota based motor car being used to transport the stolen goods from Magate. The police, in response, mounted a roadblock on the Spur Tree Hill main road. The source said the vehicle was spotted and the driver was signaled to stop by the police. However, the driver reportedly sped off while an occupant of the vehicle opened fire on the police. A high speed chase and shootout ensued. The driver turned into Kingston Meadows where the vehicle was cornered by the police on Queensway Close. Three of the men were shot while another escaped in bushes. The three injured men were taken to hospital, where Witta and Baker were pronounced dead. The third man was admitted for treatment on the police guard. The store said during a search of the vehicle, a firearm was seized and the stolen goods found. A joint police military team was deployed to search the area for the suspect who escaped. Another attack. The evasive action of a Burnham crew, which reportedly came under attack by gunmen in the hills of St. Elizabeth on Wednesday, prompted a robbery attempt. The third reported ambush by criminals on the armed courier company since February. Senior Superintendent of Police Stephanie Lindsay told reporters that the latest incident happened shortly after 1 p.m. when gunmen attacked a Burnham crew. We just understand that they were in the era when their vehicle was attacked by men traveling in a car. We understand that the content was not impact and none of the cars were injured, she said. Reporters were told that the gunman attempted to stop the vehicle before opening fire on the unit, damaging it. The cars reportedly sped off and sought assistance from the Silo police. Silo, a northern St. Elizabeth community, is located over five miles from Bog Hill, close to Balaclava, where the attack reportedly took place. SSP Lindsay pointed to ongoing consultations between the police and members of the security sector following recent attacks. There is always a dialogue to be had and the appeal to persons that once you are handling cash, then you have to be extra careful. Because we realize the criminals are basically after cash. We have been having the discussions and the dialogues with the relevant groups and individuals, so we expect that they are doing what is necessary to harden the target around cash, she said. When asked about the police response to the attack in deep rural Jamaica, SSP Lindsay said resources will be deployed where necessary. Once we do the assessment and we realize that something needs to be priority, then we put the resources there. So we see where, in recent times, we have seen the attacks on that sector. We have been having dialogues with the players in the industry, and we have been playing our part to ensure that we support them, so it is always that we respond wherever there is a need for police services, she said. Residents in the area told reporters that the incident came as a great shock to them. This latest attack on Berlin follows last month multi-million dollar heist in Portmore St. Catherine, in which four security guards were injured. The police said on Tuesday that six people were in custody for that attack. Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson, in addressing a digital press conference on Tuesday, said the constable is moving to clamp down on the space of attacks that have been launched on cash-heavy resources such as ATMs and courier services in recent months. Two men charged with 18-year-old Hanover woman's death. Detectives have charged the two men who were taken into custody last Friday with the murder of 18-year-old Tricia Hall, whose decomposing body was found in Marchtown, Green Island, in Hanover. Charged are 23-year-old Romain Vass, otherwise called Twin, and 21-year-old Antonio Summon, otherwise called Brown Man, both of Marchtown addresses. Police launched an investigation into Hall's disappearance after she was reported missing since Saturday, March 25th. On March 31, lawmen were reported acting on information, went to a field in the community where they found Hoss decomposing body. Vasa and Summon were subsequently arrested and interviewed by the police. Investigators have reported that they are awaiting the post-mortem result to determine the cause of Hall's death. Please remember to subscribe, like,